<laughs> so you kind of walk in here. Uh, the uh, area basically has a hall. There's a spirit ward on it. Uh, and basically, there is a spirit ward up here. It's more of an alarm. If something in the astral, it's not, you know, it will trigger an alarm that basically will cause these wards to tinkle. Like, they're attached to um, uh, chimes. Uh -huh. So it's a little, you know, a little wind chime type of thing that will chime if something breaches. And it does start chiming when Liz walks through. I didn't do that! Even though he did do it because he came through. But it's it's okay. Uh, yeah. I will pet him and calm him down. Okay. You, guys um, you have a main, um, uh, you have basically a main meeting room. Uh, there seems to be a low set table with no chairs around it. You also notice that there are sliding, what looks like rice paper uh, wall systems inside of here. Uh huh. Um, you'll notice that there are several, that there is one side of the hallway that has small cubicle like rooms that have headrests and a mat on the ground. Um, there is one room that uh, seems to be marked um, with... Basically, there's one room at the far end that is marked for Wayland. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, you also basically get a very Japanese um, style uh, area. Um, the kitchen area, there's a kitchen area, basically there's a small kitchen area. The main table, the giant rectangular table in the main meeting room, that's the first room you come into, does have holographic projection and other camera-based equipment, so you can plug a data chip into the table and you can see stuff, review stuff, so it looks like it could also be used as a planning room. Um, you notice that there's a nice smell to this area. That has smell. Somebody's hosting. Who's hosting me? Orange Skippy, doot doot. How are you doing, Orange? Um, but yeah, so effectively, the atmosphere, everything smells nicer. The air smells filtered in here. Probably not good enough against internal gas attacks, but good enough to get rid of the stink from outside, at least. Um, you also have basically. Uh, I haven't got the full design up yet. I'm, I'm going to be putting that together for you guys. But in general, you basically got... Um, I haven't decided on the final number. You have a bunch of simple rooms that are effectively a blanket and a neck rest. No proper pillows. And you also have a bunch of cabinets to go. Um, the blankets themselves look like they have an inflate option in case you want a more western comfy mattress underneath you. Um, Wayland, your room, you've got like an imperial style bed uh, with posts, with dragon motifs. Um, you have a mini bar. Uh, you have a small rectangular piece of gardening. All you know is it's a small rectangular centerpiece to your bedroom that has sand in it. And the sand has been curved into special waves and curves and around certain stones that have been placed in certain areas. You also notice very small miniature trees are also placed in key little spots on the key, K-I, key little spots on this small rectangular sand garden of some sort. More you also more have the sound of trickling water. Uh, as one of the wall areas literally is a black marble wall that's got water running down it into a little trough to catch it off the one side of the wall. And as you approach it, part of the wall slides to reveal no water's not going to pour on you when you go in this area. The private washroom with a giant jacuzzi and um, uh, sonic and regular splash. shower system. Pardon? Uh, so, where's my room? Uh, you have one of the rooms with a headrest and a blanket. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lynn's like, oh, this is so, oh, perfect. This, oh, not, not like. Uh, screw it. I'm, I'm barging into um, the Wayland's room. Alrighty. Big bath. Oh, there's like a communal bathroom. Oh, there is, there is a there is there is a communal <laughs> washroom. Okay, no, I'm, I'm using Wayland's. <laughs> he has a nice one. It. I don't care. Are you going to be popping into the hot tub with Wayland? <laughs> Apparently. Wayland, do you stop her? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh. 
Good enough. Um, what the, uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, move over, because I'm getting in. Do you start stripping in this bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wayland? Uh, <laughs> you're an elf. And he, you're an orc. Are, are we stating the obvious here? Move over. <laughs> uh, actually, you don't have to ask him to move open over. This is one of those hot. This is one of the jacuzzis that could probably fit four people in. Oh, then fuck it. I'm stripping and getting in. All right. Bloosh. All right. So. And meanwhile, for you guys, the communal washroom does have what look like showers. That you yeah, that's cool. Full size shower in there. Um, there is. Uh, you notice that there is only one actual western style toilet um, there is another area that actually has a metal um, slot in it instead of a toilet a metal what? Yeah, a little, basically it's a it's a, another cubicle just like you would have with a porcelain toilet in it but you've got one cubicle that does have a porcelain toilet in it and then you have another one that almost has just a rectangular latrine trough that has a slight angle to it and it has a little filth like it has a little uh, drain covered drain at the far end of this trough hmm. well y'all might as well come in I don't bite, unless you ask. I mean, feel free to <laughs> Now, I did state four normal-sized people. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Inu has gone over to the table and is already kind of... She sits there and you see a little kind of uh, androgynous greenish sprite of a human kind of just pop into existence and it starts like it's about a it's about a six inches in height and just like walking around and creating little discs around the thing and she's just staring at the table yeah so it's a nice dink she got here Waylon how'd you pull this one off my it's in his contract. Contract. <laughs> <laughs> and sadly, though, Steve, you can make yourself comfortable, but the sleeping, like you got enough room to lie down, but the blanket is average size blanket, and the neck oh, rest. I got my camping gear. Pardon? I got my camping gear. With me. <laughs> okay, just move the stuff to the side. Throw your camping. Oh, yeah, I clear, oh, yeah, no I clear, room. I, I clear out the room. I throw down my cot. Throw the mattress on yep. top. Can I have an extra blanket? Yeah. <laughs> the pack rat yeah. kicks in. Yes. <laughs> Pull up my nice inflatable pillows. Put that down. <laughs> and I set up my camping gear. Well, if you're going to use my facilities, you're going to have to earn it. Um. How? <laughs> Rub his feet. Uh, uh. I don't like feet. <laughs> I'll do yeah. anything else with that. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Camera pans up to metal pipes because you're so under the world right now. All right. Camera pans to the security division monitoring the entire area. They go, oh, this is going to get good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I start, after something about camping gear, I start going through the place with the scanners. Looking at uh, all the doors locked. Dude, grab her and pin her up against the side of the tub. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Dead Eyes, what are you doing at this moment in time? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we are 18 plus, but we are not restricted, unfortunately, for this channel. <laughs> Which is why this room has now been sealed. Like, to the moon. Went over to and talk to any you. Yep. What you say to her? What you say? <laughs> the sprite is walking around. It's like literally a little holographic Tron-like little sprite, but instead of you know with a Tron suit. You got the black in between the lights. With him, 
there's nothingness, just the outlines that you would picture like the outlines of a Tron thing without anything in between. So it's just like this little edges that kind of walk around. It seems to be analyzing and putting up security protocols and just checking. It's putting up little uh, wireless barriers up around and stuff like that, apparently. So you can see it creating like these little military like trench and devices or something that just kind of appear for a few seconds and then just vanish into the computer and just, you know, it's like this weird kind of thing going on and she just seems to be focused and concentrating on that as you come up to her. Who's that little guy you got there? She tells you that he is one of my sprites. Uh, for us, we are creating technological little spirits or sprites. It's different. We are the opposite, in a way, speaking of a regular caster. Um, but this person, like for instance, I can connect, I can, this can jump into the web and act as my proxy. And just like a spirit's got its attributes of strengths and weaknesses, so does this guy. But instead of me jumping into the web, the sprite is jumping in, doing the work, communicating back to me. Like right now, I can close my eyes and I can sense any outlet, any, you know, for me, technology is my spirit. And he's setting up defenses because I know what I would attack if I attacked this place. So I'm propping little barriers, firewalls, and little security prompts to protect this place. But I have to say they've done a good job. I'm just adding a little extra coverage. And by the way, when he's done, I wouldn't mind my guy jumping into your goggles, if you don't mind. That's a... I can hack those. And I don't want that to happen to you in a mission. So he could put up some firewalls and security to help give you a little bit of a boost if someone like me tried to hack you. Well, you can hack good me, babe. So I said, go ahead. No problem. And she continues working with that. Uh, so we have Wayland and Rain in their own private cutscene. And we have <laughs> Ivanhoe. And Ivanhoe's setting up shop in his little bunker area. And Dead Eyes and you are talking. Time can pass. You guys can shower. Uh, there's food supplied. Um, the, uh, the person that set up the kitchen for you must be OCD because all the cutlery is perfectly set up. There are chopsticks that are set up as well. Um, you've got a beautiful collection of knives, cutting boards. Um, they all have like nice sharp edges to the knives. Um, the kitchen itself seems to have a whole bunch of, you know, a Tupperware party went on or whatever. There are tons and tons of little plastic containers with fish parts, meat parts, ground meat, vegetables. Some of them are fresh and some of them are cubes. There are cubes that say tomato and there's another cube that says cucumber and there's another cube that says um, carrot. And at least the colors match to what's written on these cubes, but there are apparently cubes of vegetables and a few fresh vegetables. There's also several types of tofu, uh, and they have different flavors, ranging from pork to shrimp to um, a bunch of brand names and stuff like that. There's also uh, some Korean de delicacies and a few other um, Chinese delicacies that are in there, but not as much as the Japanese ones. But you've got some kimchi, and you've got some pickled radish, and you've also got other little bits and pieces, and you've got seaweed several types of seaweed. You've got like parchment that's made out of seaweed to wrap stuff in. You've got a rice cooker for steamed rice. You've got lots of rice. Apparently things are getting a little loud. In the other. What? Oh! <laughs> I'm like, what? Do I have to turn the volume down? Oh no. Alright. No one notices thanks to the soundproofing to your private room. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Lena is probably going to go eat. Alrighty. <laughs> she sees free food. And yep. she's going to eat it. No problem. After setting up housekeeping, I'm circling, going around, scanning, trying to find where all the little hidden bugs and detectors and cameras are. No problem. Uh, you do notice... Uh, actually, as soon as you start doing that, by the time you find the second one, uh, at this point, uh, Inu kind of just pauses, she closes her eyes for a bit, and then little green lights, like basically uh, camera diodes, start to glow, and you see all the cameras revealed and stuff.